if y'all had gotten my scripture thoroughly last week, uh, you would have seen that the scripture was in focus and the picture was out of focus. See, we did this for a reason. People get so greedy for money until they lose sight of everything around them and what's, in, what's more important. See, Paul tells Timothy in 1 uh, Timothy 6.10, For the love of money is the root of all evil. Some people eager for money and have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. And see, if people that have money want to hang on to it and they look for ways to make more money, which I don't guess is bad, but they also get a prideful spirit. Now, not all of them, but some of them get a prideful spirit and a haughty spirit. Then we start getting in trouble. And see, they don't know how to be content with what they have. See, Paul tells the church in Philippi and uh, Philippians 4.12 that he has learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. Whether he's fed or whether he's hungry, whether he's living in plenty or whether he's living in need. Paul has learned the secret. Now let's look at the Great Depression back in 1929. People would go to bed filthy rich and wake up that morning just dirt poor. What was their fate? See, they couldn't stand not being able to sustain the lifestyle that they did. So they jumped out of their high-rise apartments down in New York. And I hear they pretty high. But see, when we get a prideful spirit, pretty much can't nobody tell us nothing. But see, King Solomon said in Proverbs 16, 18, pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Now, go back to the Great Depression of 1929. They're being full of pride. What was their destruction? And have you heard that word haughty before? King Solomon writes about it too in uh, Proverbs 6, 16. He says six things that God hates. Seven are detestable to him. And the very first one that he says is haughty eyes. Now what that means is when you look at somebody as if you're better than them or you look at them down, maybe they look different. Maybe they talk different. That's the first thing God hates. And see, how can we be humble if we're too full of pride? Knowing, like I said, like King Solomon said, pride goeth before destruction. You can run, you're going to hit a brick wall. You're going to hit the lowest part of your life. Then you pretty much have to be humble. Then that's when God will meet you there. We thank God we're able to make these videos. We thank y'all for watching them. And remember, keep reading, keep believing, and keep the faith. Thank y'all.